Hey y'all, what's up? I just want to give a shout out to Petty Tupac TV. Make sure you go smash, like, and don't forget to subscribe. For real, for real. What up though, Detroit? So you already know the deal. I, you know, I'm just giving a shout out to Petty Tupac TV. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the deal. We have to support our everybody's businesses and you know, you already know how it goes. We support each other, you know what I'm saying? Make Detroit win. I just came from a place where coffee did it get a razor blade slid across your face. I done seen it all. Gang bang killers, them boys in the stall. Nation of Islam, VBM bloods, 20 men broad, stabbed in his eye and asked what he saw. Muff T's laying law. Ugh. What up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You did. Shout out Kappa on the ones and twos. <laughs> Shout out uh, Young Ear. His intro sound like he a DJ, man. He's so animated, got so much energy. Everybody speak on that like, man, what's wrong with him? Bro, just amped up. He naturally like that. He ill. He spirit bringer. You did what I'm talking about? Um, shout out to everybody who support me. Everybody. I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all go follow that clubhouse, that Instagram. Hit hit them links. Please, please hit them links. Um, hopefully, I can uh, find out a price for Lil Larry's store. That's where we at right now with it. Uh, so I'm going to be hopefully be doing that soon. I'm going to uh, just have to, you know, get some of my own resources and, and, and put and put, the, put it with what I already got going on. So hopefully we make that happen, man. Y'all pray for me and, pr and play for prosperity in the same thing. And y'all, everybody who rock with me, y'all know it's big five with me. Love, true peace, and freedom. And when those violated justice must take its course, you dig what I'm talking? But let's get into this video and doing all that talking during the intro, I forgot what the video was about. <laughs> Hold on, let me think for a second. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, I want to talk about the day room. Where the dumbest fights break out. The day room. So, if y'all don't know what the day room is, the day room is is when you can't go outside, or you can go outside, you got an option sometimes, or some yards is open, but when you want control movement, only when they call yard you can go out. When you want in a in a jail like Ken Ross, you can go outside anytime yard open back and forth, back and forth. And in Chippewa, you cannot go back and forth to the yard. You gotta wait uh, on the east side, you can't do it. You you gotta wait until they call halftime. That's a time where you can go in and you walk in. Uh usually we wait to the end to go in all together, whatever. So our ch <coughs> excuse me, our chances is good. You know, if we have a problem, it's just it's just more of us. And, you know, we don't got that much time out anyway. You got, what, two, three and a half, five and a half hours out the day to be outside. You know what I'm saying? That's not it. And that's not if you got a job. If you, if you got a job, it's over. Uh, you, you're only going to be out two hours a day, four hours a day. Some people don't want to go outside. They never go outside. Some people scared to go outside. You got to, like, if you got a young guy that's about 19, 20, 23 years old, and he never goes outside, He's scared, or he got very, very, very bad anxiety, social anxiety, to be around those many people. But the day room is a room you go into it. There's microwaves, it's five, six, seven tables, um, with four seats to each table. Now, if you're not sitting at a table, you can't just be standing in the middle of the aisle or here. You got to be by the microwave, or by either microwave, or your back has to be against the wall wherever you're standing at safety and security reasons and it has to be against the wall not the glass you can't be against the glass uh because it's glass like it's a room with nothing with glass windows on each side of it except one so the police can see in and out so um this this where the dumbest fights usually take or you know anything um I, not the people get into it in the day room for some of everything right not just what happens in the day room, but I'm talking about just the day, the stupid day room issues. That's why you shouldn't go to prison. Just the 50th millionth time I told you this, because it's just nothing but nonsense. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of barbaric people in a society where people only understand things at the point of a sword. Not everybody, but a lot of guys, a lot of knuckleheads, just rude and disrespectful. Don't have common courtesy. So, not mind you, right? It's a day room. It's two day rooms. One has one microwave. One has two microwaves. Some might have four. But you got 250 people in it, in the in the uh, unit. You got 
a uh, hundred people in a day room, fifty people, sixty. So this microwave line sometimes is ten, fifteen, twenty people in a row. But you always got somebody to just think they got all this juice, or because they with the gang and they got people to have their back that they can just do anything they want to. So you got a guy, and, and the moles do that sometimes too. I seen moles do that. Like they'll be second in line in the microwave, and they'd be like, "Hey, Bardio, come up here." And it's nine other guys waiting. I'll be like, no, nah, I'm going to wait my turn. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, people always tell me, like, all right, I can respect that, bro. I can respect that. Bro, tripping. And a lot of times, guys might not say nothing. They realize, like, we in prison, man. We'd be fighting over this every time. But you get the guy where it's only 20 minutes left in the day room, 30 minutes left in the day room before we lock down, and they want to heat up their coffee or their noodles for the night or whatever the case may be. And, you know, you got 15 people in line. And, and and the guy that's in the microwave right now warming his food up, let his boy come on. Come on up. Hey, come on, bro. Come on. Just like the lunch line. They do that there, too. And guys get mad, but guys won't say nothing about it unless you just keep constantly, constantly doing it. It's just disrespectful. It's like being at the store and a guy open up a register and say, hey, I'll take whoever next if they got cash. And you behind, you know, you the second one. Somebody hurry up and jump and go. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. Have some decent common courtesy, some common respect. It's not that hard. So guys get into it about the microwave all the time. I seen a guy lose his eye over the microwave. You know what I'm saying? One of the homies let his uh, two of his homeboys uh, go in front of him. He took his stuff out, let them go so he could finish up doing what he doing. And they like, damn. You could let other people go too. Then, if you're gonna let just your homeboys go, you could have did one and one, and that turned into an argument. And uh, dude, like, hey man, young dog, you just disrespectful. I don't know if you just came down or whatever. I don't know who raised you, but that ain't how you jail, bro. And there ain't no disrespect. I'm just letting you know, we waiting. And and the guy that was in the mic, what? No nah, man, whatever, bro. I ain't trying to hear that. Bro said, all right, cool. Went downstairs. No, he waited till he got into the microwave, fixed his food up, went downstairs, came back up. He eating his food slowly but surely. I'm looking at his, I looked at his bowl, right? I just happened to look at his bowl because it looked so good. And at the bottom of it, I kind of see something like, it looked like a, 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 a burnt pickle or something like that. It looked like a, like a curly pickle. That's how I'm perceiving it. He got the knife in his bowl. And he walk up the young dog while he's not looking, sitting down, talking, kicking it. Pop! Pop! Got that boy maybe 25 times just in the head and face area. That's just the head and face area. When he was, and then when dude tried to, you know, finally realize what's going on and then, you know, try to get up out of it, he pulled off shirt over his head, hitting him all in his back. Hit him on the stomach. Hit him in his butt a couple times. I'm like, damn, over a microwave? But it is disrespectful. You got to realize where you at. People not in prison for being nice people. You know what I'm saying? People, not, it, 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 people don't got 10 murder cases and been down since the, the 70s and still in level four. Those not nice people. You feel me? They not playing no roles with guys, man. And shout out Winbush Bay. He can verify that story for me. We was there with him when that happened. Now, what else be happening in the day room is a guy I take his ID, set it on the seat that he's sitting in, and go to his room. He come back. Somebody else sitting there. They don't move his ID like here. Seen a guy getting knocked out over that. Like, dog, this is my seat. Oh, man, well, uh, oh. Knock him straight out. Why would you go move somebody property off? Now, I could see if they was gone for hours. That's the difference. If they was gone for 30, 40 minutes, an hour, all right, no. Nah, we're going to take that seat and look at this chess game, right? Uh, and another thing that be happening, when people play chess, remember I told you, the tables got four seats, two on this side, two, two in the front, back, two on the side, side, right? Round table, square table, whatever it is, right? So the two people playing chess usually have spectators if they good. I'm... Uh, I call myself an elite spectator because I watch all the dogs at chess, and they even had me come over there because they know I I, I buy by the rules. They want to show off their chess moves and how smart they are, but you got to buy by the rules. When somebody playing chess, don't say, oh, oh man, 
he about to make a move because you know when you touch when you touch the piece in chess, you have to move it in the joint. They playing big boy chess. If you touch that piece, you can't put it back and say, "Hey, I'm about to move this instead." You got to move that piece. So that's why it's imperative to watch the board before you touch it. That turned into so many fights. You know what I mean? You touch it, you move it. I mean, I ain't know the rules. Look, yes, you did. You've been down 10 years. You know the rules in prison. We gambling. Move that piece. Move that piece you just touched. And then when they touch that piece, you know, they might. Because when you move it too fast, you'll touch the piece and then realize, like, damn, my queen on the line of the bishop is gone. And you got you got to make the move after you touch the piece. Seeing Fights happen off that. So anyway, when you watching chess in the day room, don't when a guy about to t if a guy about to touch a piece and you know it's a bad move and then you be like, oh. then he look at it and be like, oh no, I'm about to move this. And they gambling or it's a, just for real, real, real bad or excuse me, real, real big bragging rights. That's a fight right there. I seen that happen. Dude, oh my. The guy that was about to move the piece, like, what? I'm like, why you, he like, why you gonna move that? The dude he was playing, man. Hey, bro, shut up, bro. We gambling, bro. Dog, man, don't tell me shut up, bro. All right, you know the rules, dog. Why you doing, ooh, 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 go on somewhere, man. Or don't say nothing at all. Dude, dude, he told to shut up. Got up, got on him. You know what I'm saying? And then I think, like, I think that was a, a setup because he was, his mans was losing. And, uh. He just wanted to star stuff, you know. They was gambling for real, real money, and they was, you know, he, 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 the dude he was playing was a, just a chess expert. They had, they both had a lot of money though, and they used to play for worldly stuff. They be used to get down seven hundred dollars to each other, eight hundred dollars. They used to cash after the round. The dude was on the losing streak, so I think he just brought his men's over there to to make a distraction, or try to make them mad, or just to get them off the yard. Probably paid them like, you know what, set a pen. Uh, six hundred. No, he owed him seven hundred, I believe. Instead of paying him seven hundred again, shoot, I can get him a hundred dollars and he'd do it for me. That's my homie. You know what I'm saying? So that might have been a, a setup or a play. But that's what fights can start from in the day room. The T V. The T V. Right? Sometimes in some joints they won't let you get the remote. The public for the public T V they won't let you get the remote. The police gotta change. Or sometimes the police might be like, Look, I ain't about to keep changing this, take the remote. And when you bring it back, better have the batteries in it. You know what I'm saying? The same batteries. So um a guy come in the day room, oh no, nah, we about to put on the game. Dudes be like, Man, no, nah, uh uh. We watching the beauty pageant. Or they might be watching the beauty pageant and a bunch of rowdy guys come in like, nah. Uh uh, bro. We, we we got money on the turn turn on 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 the Falcons versus New England. I remember that. I will never forget the Falcons versus New England. And I was just about to go to bed because I'm like, I lost my money. The Patriots done. Shout out to the go time Brady man. I damn near wanted to cry when he uh said he retired. What was I wanted him to play the fifty? He probably could have did that. But uh anyway, I I remember guys wanted to watch. I believe it was the beauty pageant was on. Or something with some type of models. I think that's the year Steve Harvey messed up the winner. I don't know, right? It, it was something like, but I never forget who played that Super Bowl, and I, I never remember that. I never forget that cold day where guys get into it about what they gonna watch. Whole day room just everybody rumbling. The Melanics rumbling with some uh, a few bloods. Then it was a few uh, GDs together. They was all cool. They was betting. They was talking. They from the same hoods. Throughout Grand Rapids, some was from, from Pontiac, or that, whatever case may be, man. They in that thing rumbling because guys want to come in there and change the channel. And another thing is, too, people get mad when a gay scene come on TV, right? That change the channel and wait two minutes. Dude's like, man, turn the, turn the movie back on. That scene is over with. I remember a guy sitting there like, man, I'm disgusted right now, man. Um. Uh, Give, give it three more minutes just to make sure that that love scene over with. I'm tired of that. Y'all want to sit here and watch. Y'all gay motherfuckers want to sit here and watch people uh, kiss on TV. The two men kiss. I, and and a guy asked him like, "Why you ain't say nothing when the two women was kissing?" Still gay. Man, don't don't tell me what I gotta like, dog. I'm tired of you, man, you youngs always got. Next thing you know, old dude in there getting whooped on by two by two young dudes getting whooped on. This the dumb stuff that happened in the day room. The TV room, that's a day room too, right? Then, 
Then you got in a day room where if the seat is right by the wall, somebody come post up right there. And then the guy that's sitting on the side and the guy that's sitting in the back, like you kind of got them at a disadvantage if you do stuff. And I don't see guys, guys, they never even, guys that just came to prison, they don't even know, just rolled in. Hey, man, stop standing on the side of me like that. Well, why you ain't saying nothing to the dog? was just standing right there. I know him. I don't know you. Move right now. And it's just, it, and what would be killing me in prison? All he could have simply said is, hey, bro, I got a little paranoia issues. I ain't going to lie to you, homie. Can you please move over a little bit, bro? Or can you please take your hands from behind? Like, you know, people sit on the wall with their hands behind their back. Or, hey, bro, can you please take your hands from behind your back, bro? You make me kind of nervous, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I had a lot of beef. Could have said in a joking manner, smiling. And dude would have probably been like, oh, all right, bro, I understand it. I put my hands right here, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, look, I'm, I'm like this now, bro, for your security. Or I'm going to move down a little bit, bro. Or I'm going to go on the other side. That's all you got to do. But remember, you're in an environment where social skills <laughs> are not the best. Okay? Social skills are not the best. But that's what happened in the day rooms. The, the, the stuff that have, happens because of the day room, because we in close contact doing day room stuff. Now, it's, you know, you could have did something on the yard then went to the day room and they came in there and got you. But, you know, it is what it is. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Please make sure y'all hit me up on Clubhouse. Clubhouse and IG or and Facebook, too. Facebook, too. Both pay Facebook. Hit me up on that joint. You know I follow back. You know I add back. Everybody that follow me on Instagram. If you ain't got one of them trader pages, them fake marijuana pages where you inboxing me, hey, man, send me 500 I'll send you 10 pounds. I'm not doing, no, no. I'm not doing that. I ain't getting scammed. Hey, dude, I got a, a collection of all rifles, man. Uh, you know, send me a thousand dollars. I'll send you uh, three of them. I'm not sending e traders. Here, come buy some Bitcoin from me. If I want to buy Bitcoin, I just go on cash. I press Bitcoin and buy it. Peace and blessings be y'all. Big.